I'm basically a water media artist. I uh, predominantly use acrylics, but I will also incorporate uh, um, a pastels, um, all pastels predominantly, uh, usually. I've even used fabric paint before. I, uh, I do watercolors, I, um, and I will even draw over some of my paintings. Uh, my subject matters varies. I've done uh, portraits, dogs, houses, people, but I always like to have some uh, recognizable feature in a painting. I have tried abstract to a degree, but you know, I, I just can't just walk away with just paint on a canvas. I've got to have something that represents something. My studio is sectioned off a little bit. Uh, I have an entry point and from the outside. You don't need to come through my home. I have a seating area where I welcome guests to my studio if we want to sit down and talk about something they might like to have commissioned. Uh, and then I have a section where I do the actual painting. I have my easels and I have some paintings throughout the room too that are kind of representational of my work. And so something like this, I'll start out with a photograph. Now it's not anything like, my painting's not anything exactly like this, but you have to have a reference. I sketch my birds in, I've blocked in color, I will uh, start incorporating maybe some oil pastels to get into a little more detail with them. I'm not trying to do photography with my paintings. I want it to have a different life to them. And then I work with texture sometimes. Some of my paintings I will gesso uh, the canvas before I even start painting. I will do uh, things that will give it different textures. You know, I don't always have to have a flat canvas. In my art education years, you know, there was uh, always a lot of don'ts and do's, you know, don't use white, don't use black, don't use gold, don't use silver, don't use metallics. Now I'll use all that. I even draw over my paintings now. There is no don't do, and usually that's what works.